वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो डॉक्टर पॉला फेलेंगहैम जिड़े कि एक नामवर राइटर ने इंटरनेशनल स्पीकर ने संयुक्त राष्ट्र में भी जाके बोल चुके ने ग्लोबल प्रोस्पेरिटी तो पीस इनिशिएटिव्स लांदे ने ते विमेन इंफॉर्मेशन नेटवर्क दे बानी ने आज साडे को स्टूडियो दे पहुंचे हुए ने पिछले हफ्ते सी गलबात की थी सी ना नाल कि करा दे विच केवे बेटर रिलेशनशिप क्रिएट कीती जा सकती है उसी सफर नो असी अग्गे जोड़दे हां ते नाल तानू जनाने हां दसदे हां कि किस तरीके नाल होर की कुछ सानू लोड है जिस नाल के असी अपने करा दे विच एक बेहतर माहौल क्रिएट कर सकने हां अज एक बहुत बड़ी समस्या बनी पई है पहली गल तो यह आ रही है साढ़े सामने कि अच्छे साढ़े बच्चे जोड़े ने वो विह नहीं करा चाहते विह नहीं करा रहे उस कारण जेकर विह हो भी जाता है तो बाद तलाक जोड़ा है जोड़ा कि असी कहीं नहीं सुने से उस सिचुएशन भी सामने आ रही है सो किस तरीके घर एक बैटर माहौल क्रिएट किया जाए जानकारी लेने डॉक्टर पॉला फलिंग हैम तो वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम लव बींग थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच लास्ट वीक वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स विच वी ऑट टू इनकलकेट इन आर लाइफ सो दैट दे कैन बी बैटर रिलेशनशिप यू टॉक अबाउट कमिटमेंट you talked about kindness yes. and you also talked about open communication which is yes. a must yes. what other things should we have in our home so that there is a better relationship and we can all be joyful let's just remind them that kindness is the single most important ingredient in right. a happy home kindness kind thoughts kind words kind tone of voice mm-hmm. and kind actions right. and then committing your time and your heart to your family is so important right. and as you mentioned the communication is so critical and that is really the key to prevent mm-hmm. those 911 calls the gangs the the right. bad choices that our young people make later right. and so c- communication is so so important mm-hmm. and then let's talk about choices and responsibility T- ha- giving your children responsibility from when they're just tiny even when they're just as soon as they can can tell a knife from a fork from a spoon and put mm-hmm. those away right. and give them chores that they have that they're responsible for have your children fill their hours with positive things right. and taking responsibility for their thoughts words and actions mm-hmm. is another way you help them be responsible and remind them that these are choices they're making when they misbehave remember you set up your mission statement as a family you set up your goals you set up the consequences with the whole family right. then when they misbehave you say you need to take responsibility for this you mm-hmm. decided that the consequence would be this right. and i'm so sorry that you made that choice mm-hmm. and they learn to take responsibility so that they're not blaming you they're not blaming their you know it's my teacher's fault it's everybody's fault but theirs right. they need to learn this responsibility mm-hmm. We want to talk about problem prevention right. because it's not always about problem solving. Right. Yes, but if you could prevent the problem, this that's so like much it. better. Oh, yes, absolutely. so much better. Yeah. And so what do you do to prevent a problem and mm-hmm. everything that goes into that? We really do need about a day and a half together. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Because I could teach this so prevention so. is better than cure it's always it, said that it is and unfortunately the way situation is happening you know the, the way things are evolving yes. uh, it's more of blame game finding scapegoats and not coming to yes. the you know prevention aspect and it's great that you are now coming regularly to Surrey and having uh, meeting the people having seminars where you are teaching yes. them these traits yes one of the most important other thing which i have read in your book which you have written is that uh, choices that yes. it all depends upon the choices what you the find. believe it <coughs> excuse me believe it become it yes right. and that whole book is about creating mm-hmm. choice right. and that it is our choice <laughs> uh, and and once people understand that powerful eternal principle of agency it changes their whole life right. because they can they know that they can choose to be mm-hmm. happy no matter what's happening around them they right. know that they can choose to be a loving kind patient parent mm-hmm. no matter if they didn't have a loving kind patient parent right. and these are again this agency and so people need to come to the time where they say i choose to be happy i mm-hmm. choose to be uh, the best mother or father that i can possibly be and right. then take action on becoming that person being happy means you know you're emotionally happy you're mentally yes. happy physically if you are uh, you know Uh, strengthened then everything is good for you if your body is not uh, feeling fine everything you know gets done nothing so else works tell us That's the right. well-being aspect of uh, all these aspects Well the very first well-being is mm-hmm. your mental well-being right. and you need to believe you are that 
a, a strong, loving, kind person, mm -hmm. and your body is listening. Your subconscious is listening. Right. So mental well-being. The mm -hmm. physical well-being is so important because if we are ill, if we are uh, overweight, if we are if something, you know, we're not exercising, we're not eating well, then it's going to affect every other part. It's going right. to affect our relationships. It's going to affect every part. Of, and so I just, and all of us are always working on this, mm -hmm. but I'd love to invite, especially the women, to, to be conscious of, of their well-being, of how they eat and how, yeah. how much rest they get. Sometimes mm -hmm. women just work so hard and then they, they fall into their beds at night and they're so tired and they get up early to serve again, mm -hmm. but they don't take care of themselves and the, the family actually suffers and they suffer more. Right. And they're not able to age as well because they're being used up like a little bar of soap, you know, <laughs> it gets smaller and smaller. Right. And so what I just I want to encourage them to take care of themselves. Okay. And th this is for men, of course, too. Mm -hmm. But get enough rest, drink enough water, um, refrain from things of, of any sort that are, uh, you know, too much mm -hmm. uh, of, that might be addictive right. and, and just moderation in all things. Make sure, I mean, we heard this from when we were just young, right. eat your fruits and your vegetables, and all, but it works and we just need to constantly remind ourselves. And then also, as women get older, fe uh, talking about the, the aging, they need to also know that hormones change mm -hmm. and take care of that and make sure that they are aware of what they need to do to fill those gaps and, right. and help that. Mm -hmm. So the physical is very, very important to the well-being of everything else that you do. Mm -hmm. And then so physical, social, you need to have fun, you need oh, to go yeah. out. We, um, some wonderful people with whom I'm staying, mm -hmm. then uh, they have someone who stayed there, is there and she said, well, when I was younger, I used to go out to the movies, but I never do now. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, let's go to the movies. Right. And we all went to the movies together. And she's right. just like, well, this is fun. Right. And I think, why are you not having a social life? Mm -hmm. Because as, see, you want your cup filled. Mm -hmm. And if your cup isn't filled, then you can't give love. You can give love better from your overflow is right. what I say. So yeah. fill your cup mm -hmm. and then you can, you can live in a way that then you can serve others better. Mm -hmm. So the financial, let's talk about that. That's so important right. that there is financial stability, but there is a point that there's, that not that there's too much, but that some parents give too much to their children without the children working for it. Right. And so it's important that we understand when we're talking about the strength of the family, mm -hmm. that there is, again, open communication. Right. And just because of, uh, uh, parents have this amount of money doesn't mean that the child uh, you know, should be able to say, well, I want what you, some right. of our young people want what we have that we've worked 40, 50 Talk years to, <laughs> and right. they're yeah. like, well, I want this now. Right. We'll earn it. Absolutely. This is about, of well, course. It's very rightly said, there's enough for everyone's need, but yes. not every, for everyone's greed, you know. But this aspect, the financial well-being yes. that we're talking about, yes. uh, this is overshadowing everything else today because I it want does. to be a successful person and success means to me just having everything materialistic. But a time comes when you realize that, yes, these are mere toys. Yes. And they might give you some pleasure, but that happiness will not come from that. So it's how so to change right. that thought, Dr. Paula? Because today in the society, any society, you know, there's a race going on where we are ready to trample everything else, our values, our honesty, our integrity, for just this sake. What is your opinion about it? How to be strong from inside that nothing can shake us and we stick to our principles? Oh, I love that. Thank you, Harpreet. So what I, what I believe is that you need to be conscious. You need to be living wide awake. You need to understand. Look at some of the people who have so much wealth, but mm -hmm. they have dysfunctional families. Right. You don't have to experience it. Mm -hmm. You can see others. You can look at some of the celebrities and with right. all their millions, how many are truly, truly happy? How many have highly functioning families? families? Right. And then you learn from that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to experience it. So then even as young parents, you just say, you know what? Our priority is having the mother in the home. Our priority is having the father with one job. 
at what point is it enough? Right. Be satisfied mm -hmm. with enough and not a, you know, if you have a surplus, mm -hmm. then my goodness, give it to right. your, that's a, give it away. Right. That's part of being others centered. Mm -hmm. Find these wonderful things that are happening and say, I would like to give to that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my five, my nonprofit organization with this Global Prosperity and Peace Initiative, mm -hmm. you know, this, we are bringing this education worldwide. Right. And of course, I would love people to say, I'd like to know more about that. Mm -hmm. But there's so many worthy causes to which you can give right. that you don't need that third car. You don't need a brand new car. You don't, I mean, I don't want to offend anybody here, right. but what I know is what works. Mm -hmm. And I know that the happiest families mm -hmm. are the ones who aren't driven by money. And that when they have a surplus, their children are the ones that know, let's go out and serve and right. let's give this, this food to the food bank or wherever it is and have the children participate. And then they, they become in their heart others centered and giving, giving. Mm -hmm. This is a, one of those principles of the Sikh religion, yeah, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Is this giving. To serve others is and so, basically that, <laughs> that, that happiness which comes from serving others is beyond description. You know, yes. nothing can buy it, nothing can. So our it. mouths say this, but right. then what we do is we're driving after the money. So right. at what point do we say, I'm going to stop? Hmm. I get it. I'm enlightened because I'm aware that this is one of the things that our family needs to do again. Right. How important is your family? If mm -hmm. it is your highest priority, which right. it should be, mm -hmm. then do those things that allow your family to be high functioning. One of them is not mm -hmm. acquiring too much. Wonderful. We'll go for a short break, come back, <laughs> okay. and the, in the uh, following segment, I would like to focus on one of the most important foundation, that is the spirituality factor, which can bring about unity in our house. We'll go for a short break and come okay. back. Dr. Paula Flingham has said that an important aspect of the mind and the mind ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਪੂਰੀਆਂ ਹੋਣ ਪਰ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੰਤੁਸ਼ਟ ਰਹੀਏ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਕ ਦੌੜ ਲੱਗੀ ਪਈ ਹੈ ਪੈਸੇ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਪੈਸੇ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਭੱਜ ਭੱਜ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਸਕੂਨ ਖਰਾਬ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੈਨਸ਼ਨ ਸਟ्रेस ਐਂਗਜ਼ਾਈਟੀ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਵਧਦੀਆਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਖ ਕਾਰਨ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਪੈਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਹੀ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਬਣਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਈਡਲਾਈਨ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਬੈਲੈਂਸ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਹਾਂ ਫਾਈਨੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਵੈਲਬੀਇੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਦ ਓਨਲੀ ਥਿੰਗ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਫੋਕਸ ਅਪਨ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪੌਲਾ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਮਾਨਸਿਕ ਤੌਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੰਤੁਸ਼ਟ ਰਹੀਏ ਸਰੀਰਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੰਦਰੁਸਤ ਰਹੀਏ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰੀਏ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਡੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਇਰਟੀਜ਼ ਕੀ ਨੇ ਕੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਪ੍ਰਾਇਰਟੀਜ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਵੇਗਾ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਸਮਝਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਉਨਾ ਹੀ ਕਾਨੂੰ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਕੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਜੇਕਰ ਵੱਧ ਹੈ ਦੂਸਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਸਕੂਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖ ਸਕਨੇ ਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜੋ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਿਕਲਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਟੈਂਡੈਂਸੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਰਿਵਰਤਨ ਲਿਆਉਣ ਦੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਾਪਸ ਆਨੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਫੈਕਟਰ ਹੈ ਧਰਮ ਦਾ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲਿਟੀ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣ ਕੇ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪੌਲਾ ਫਲਿੰਗਹਮ ਤੋਂ JP Transmissions ਉਹ ਵਨ ਸਟਾਪ ਟੋਟਲ ਆਟੋ ਕੇਅਰ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵਾਜਬ ਕੀਮਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਟਰਾਂਸਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਰੀਬਿਲਡ ਆਟੋਮੈਟਿਕ ਤੇ ਸਟੈਂਡਰਡ ਕਲੱਚਸ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਜਨਰਲ ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਹਰ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਡੋਮੈਸਟਿਕ ਇੰਪੋਰਟਡ ਤੇ ਯੂਰੋਪੀਅਨ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ 1 ਟਨ ਤੋਂ 5 ਟਨ ਟਰੱਕ ਜ਼ੂਜ਼ੂ ਤੇ ਹੀਨੋ ਲਈ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਸਕੈਨਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਗੱਡੀ ਦਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਮਲਟੀ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਚੈੱਕ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਬੈਸਟ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਆਓ 8951152 ਸਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਸਰੀ ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਪੈਰ ਮਹਲ ਸ਼ੰਭੂ 6045891217 ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪੌਲਾ ਫਲਿੰਗਹਮ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਘਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਿਹਤਰ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ਼ਿਪ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਲਿਆ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਪਰਿਵਰਤਨ ਅੱਜ ਸਮਾਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਸਮੱਸਿਆ ਬਣੀ ਪਈ
and you and you instill this in the hearts of your children mm -hmm. and they grow up believing that they are children of a God who loves them mm -hmm. it makes all the difference in the world because when when negative things happen in their life and their parents aren't there and their brother and sisters aren't there and uh, who can they go to they always have God to go right. to and when you have a, a belief that that there is something bigger that mm -hmm. there is someone who cares and yeah. that it's all part of a master plan mm -hmm. it does make all the difference in the world yes it's very true believing is the first aspect first and point then, <laughs> and then is praying and doing because so many people say i believe but yeah. then their actions do not match with what they believe in exactly yeah. so how do we help our children how mm -hmm. do we help each other um, actually do mm -hmm. what we believe you know right. take those action steps and loving reminders are a good way you mm -hmm. know it, and sometimes i'll say to my children when they'll do something i'll say would that make god happy mm -hmm. and they're like oh no and i say do we want to make god happy right. yes mm -hmm. well then let's choose the right let's right. do what he asked us to do right and I'm a Christian mm -hmm. and I absolutely honor every religion right. and being doing my global work of course I you know this is and so my simple belief about Jesus Christ is that I want to live according to what he taught mm -hmm. he taught love one another right. turn the other cheek he taught yeah. all these things the Sermon on the Mount we call them and, and he well, taught the Ten so many Commandments things. are the Ten basically Commandments. the Thank foundation you. of every yes. religion I believe you know absolutely I believe serve thy God uh, you know I have no other God before me and right. now all the the Ten Commandments if all of us just live the Ten Commandments oh, yeah. and then the world will be a sinner place <laughs> yes and Jesus Christ said at one point if ye love me hmm. keep my commandments right and so then that's a perfect teaching tool for me right. and I say do you love God mm -hmm. and they say yes right keep my commandments what was one of his commandments you just lied Thou shalt not bear false witness. I mean, all these things that then you teach them, while you're teaching them, you're reconfirming this right. belief you have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe we're all praying to the same God. Oh, absolutely. Well, God is one. And I, I <laughs> yes. always say, you know, religion is a path to God. Yes. It's your own personal choice. Whatever you believe in, become better human beings. Yes. Because every religion teaches us to become good human beings, yes. serving each other and to yes. you know, make happiness all around. That's what it is. Yes, and I love the judge not that ye be not judged. Right. All religions. Now, when I was in uh, Bahrain, it was mm -hmm. where I went into a wonderful mosque. Uh, okay. Yes, and I had the, the whole, you know, I wore the, the black, um, the burqa all right. the way down. And when I went in and I saw mm -hmm. the prayer was written out and, and the host that was taking us through this tour. And I said, could I just stand here and read this and really absorb it? Mm -hmm. And I realized this is so close to what I believe. Right. And again and again and again, it's confirmed to me that we have the same foundation, very similar foundations to right. our beliefs. And when it talked about the importance of family, the importance of loving your God, or importance of keeping your commandments, I'm like, how wonderful. And then later in Dubai, and I heard, I was in this, uh, this community and, and, the, and the bells were ringing and the sound, the, mm -hmm. uh, they were calling us to prayer oh, at right. 5 a.m. And I thought, this is wonderful. We're all being called to prayer. Right. And, and we learn from each other. We mm -hmm. have different beliefs, but it's all, again, like you said, it's the path to God. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure to talk to you, as always. Thank you for your time. You're so welcome. Thank you. So, as you said, Dr. Paula said that Dr. Paula said that the most important thing in our lives, which is a very important role play in our lives, which is a very important role play in our lives, is our spirituality. Just like our lives, which is our lives, उस दिन जो कुछ कहा गया है, जेकर ऐसी उस चीज़ आनु फॉलो कराएंगे, तो ऑटोमेटिकली कराएं दिवस शांति आएगी। आज जेकर ऐसी सिर्फ लिप सर्विस कर रहे हैं, तो वो प्रैक्टिकली नजर नहीं आ रहा, तो हाउ कैन वी इंस्पायर आर चिल्ड्रन? आज प्रॉब्लम जरी सब तो बड़ी साड़ी सामने आ रही है, कि वी जस्ट टॉक कि साढ़ा तरम सानु की सिखान्दा है जड़ी भी तरम तो अड़ी आस्था है उसमें चुसुं बिलीव करके प्रे करके ऐसी वो हकीकत देवेच अपने जीवन में चुचीजन उल्लामांगे कि साढ़े कराने वेच रिलेशनशिप स्ट्रॉंग हो